Hello everyone, this is Soumya. Wish you a very very happy Diwali. I hope you had an amazing time in the festival. And yes, this video is all about the post Diwali detox. But first, we are going to understand why you need a detox and how there are some like myths around detox. If you think that you are going to eat and each and everything, and then you can get away with the detox, that's not going to happen. That can actually uh, you know shoot up your blood sugar levels, can shoot up your blood pressure, and that is something that should be avoided. Uh, every you can not get away with the detox detox is just there to help you out in your uh, balancing your lifestyle but it's not there for you to completely be rely on something that can let you have unhealthy lifestyle so first and foremost it should not be done very often like i understand because of the festival season you want to enjoy we all want to enjoy so in this particular time you have a very long period of time when you can't get on a healthy lifestyle you are binging a lot of sweets snacks fried food so yes this detox will definitely help you there but how to do is how to do it is very very important otherwise so, uh, some of you i see a lot of messages people just subjecting them to lot of fruits vegetables a uh, lot of juices and all of these things and then they forget what is the purpose of um, your digestive system what is the, how the digestion works how the metabolism work how it can lead to um, interfere in the function of your pancreas it can actually spike up your blood sugar levels if not done correctly so yes all of these things keeping keeping in mind i'm going to give you a post diwali detox diet you can follow it for 2 days uh, but yes making having said all of these things this is not something that you need to rely on every now and then like just i am having to, going to have pizza every like once in 4 days and then i'm going to have my detox this is not how it going to work you have to make sure that you develop a lifestyle that's healthy in a longer run and this can just help you in this that particular process so yes we are going to talk about the post diwali detox diet here so detox the word is detoxification getting rid of all the toxics that you have toxins that you have developed with the junk food that you ha might have in, had in your diwali time so uh, having like all of these things keeping in all of these things in mind we are des have designed up di diwali detox plan for you in which you can actually have lots of fruits vegetable uh, fiber everything in balance not restricting calories we are not restricting calories just making sure we are having each and everything that's healthy and getting it on time that's required by your body so intermittent fasting is very important when you do a detox because fasting will help you get rid of those toxins uh, put your body in that particular mode that can help you get rid of toxins and help you get rid in that fat burning mode and get rid of all the junk food that you have had in the diwali time so yes beginning your day with an early morning drink again having jeera cumin uh, and honey water can always help you uh, start your day in a perfect fashion and help you get a good detox uh, drink starting the day itself of your detox day that can actually help in help in your digestion process also so yeah start your day with an early morning drink then after 2 to 3 hours go with certain amount of nuts now uh, nuts always help because i the, the reason i'm saying 2 to 3 hours is because i assume that you all are in the fasting window you can go with 16 is to 8 fasting or 14 is to 10 fasting according to your comfort and your uh, you know body requirement if you have been doing intermittent fasting since a long time then you can go for 16 is to 8 as well so yes then after 2 to 3 hours you have to go with nuts again only almonds and walnuts no cashews here no pistachios uh, no raisins here only all almonds and walnuts because you have already had lot of sodium lot of fats in the last couple of days so you have to avoid those just these to subject your body and make them understand that you are eating something and uh, starting your day with good healthy fats then after again after having this after an hour you need to have your breakfast now breakfast again you have to go with light breakfast so having fruits is always something recommended in a detox uh, day because fruits is something having a natural sugar that does not absorb in your blood and does not shoot up your blood sugar level so it will definitely help your body so it's always recommended to go with seasonal fruits because these are something that is accompanied by your body very well uh, they will get adapted to your body and will not trouble you in any form so yes having seasonal fruits like oranges apple bananas is always good uh, having kiwi is good source of antioxidants so all all of these fruits together in your breakfast is the good way to go and begin your day with after 3 hours you are going to have your lunch now in lunch we would recommend going for a multigrain chapati because it is a good source of fiber so have uh, one multigrain chapati with green vegetable avoid having lot of protein in this particular detox day uh, just have 
very much high fiber uh, diet and making sure that you don't subject your body or digestive system to lot of food so just multigrain chapati and a green vegetable now if you're not lactose intolerant you can also uh, go with yogurt but i would recommend avoiding lactose based products on a detox day so after two hours of your lunch you need to have a herbal tea lemongrass tea or chamomile tea or any kind of a herbal tea like a green tea can do well in this particular time with that you need to take some makhane makhane is very low in calorie and makes you full for a longer period of time because you're not having too much of calories you're not having too much of food on your detox day then makhane can always be a very good accompaniment with your herbal tea to get you energy for a longer period of time and also you're not subjecting your body to lot of food at this time so make you energetic all the time so this is something you need to add in your snack time after your lunch after this two hours of uh, after post your snack you need to have your dinner like one and a half hour or two hour gap and this dinner also we are keeping it very light we are going with soups or you can go with we, we are strictly prohibiting salads at that particular time because if you have salads at that particular time you might feel bloated and you might feel that lot of acidity issues because not having lot of food so your body get confused so in that particular case in order to avoid those gastrointestinal issues you need to have go good amount of fiber and all balanced meal in your dinner as well so go with any good uh, healthy soups uh, it can actually help you uh, get get a good sleep at night as well or you can go with khichdi oats dalia anything of high fiber and at the same time getting good of amount of grains carbs everything in balanced in particular meal so this is something that you need to have after dinner make sure that you go for a walk at least for 20 minutes that's strictly strictly recommended always help you in this particular detox day to get accelerated to a great extent and yes Post that, you know, after you are done with your dinner, your work, before going to your bedtime, you need to do some bedtime exercises, at least five to six minutes and have a good herbal tea. Uh, this will actually help you get a good sleep, good boost your metabolism, stay hydrated. And yeah, this is something that can give you a complete package of detoxification in the entire day. This you need to follow for the two days and you can get some great results when it comes to detox and get rid of all the toxins from your body. So yes, that's it for this video. I hope you will find it useful there are certain important tips uh, that i have given in this particular video and that can actually help you get rid of uh, unwanted uh, toxins that you might have gotten because of the festive season i hope you enjoyed a lot in your festive season and i hope you will get ba back on your lifestyle uh, post this and with this particular balanced nutrition diet that i have given you don't subject yourself only to juices or something like that because that won't help in a longer run just make sure that you are you are energetic on your detox day as well so yes that's it for this video i hope you will find it useful don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon along to never miss any update i'll see you very soon bye bye